Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. I hope you're all doing well and in today's one we're going to be having a little look at the Cute Bee DIY Book Nook Kits. Cute Bee is a miniature craft store that sell kits in all sorts of themes and genres including book nooks and miniature house kits so in this one we're going to be trying out the eternal bookstore kit that they have kindly gifted to me so we're going to do an unboxing and an assembly video and i'll give you my final review on the product so let's get win your own book nook be sure to keep to the end of the video to find out how to enter the giveaway So let's have a little look and see what's inside the box. So we have some battery packs and lighting kits, a small screwdriver. We have the main bulk of the kit, which is all of these laser cut wood pieces, which will make up the majority of the kit and some plastic sheeting. And we also have the assembly manual, which is pretty big. There are a lot of steps in this, so we'll keep you busy for quite a while. And here are some other examples of some of the book note kits. And a lot of books. Remember, this is a bookstore, so be prepared to make a lot of books. These are all of the printouts. As you can see, we have some Shakespeare and some other fantasy novels and books here that I'm going to have to cut all these out. Realising this is, is going to take a while. So yeah, that is all of the kit that comes in the box. So let's get started. So just inspecting some of the pieces here, just to see what we have. All of the decorative pieces here are laser cut wood, I believe. There is actually, I think, 172 components to this kit, which is really a lot. And it's definitely going to keep me busy uh, doing this. So we have all of the sides and all of the components. As you can see, there are some really detailed pieces and some ones with wood finishes on. So this is going to give definitely a very cozy look with all these wood finishes. And some paintings here, which we'll get into later and have a little more detailed look. So you're going to need a few tools. Pretty much some scissors, some glue, as glue is not included in this kit due to postal restrictions, so you're going to get yourself some super glue, um, hot glue also worked pretty well on this project for me, and uh, maybe some tweezers for those smaller parts would also be useful to you. So let's get started on the first stages. So I had to pop out some of these paintings to apply to one of the walls of the book nook. Some of these are little copies of paintings and some of them I think are just original designs. They're all marked and numbered so each piece and component of this kit is numbered with a letter and a number so you will be able to know where what goes where and uh, you won't get confused. So this is our wall and uh, we've got to make little details on the walls so we're going to make some little shelves. And a teensy tiny little Van Gogh painting has to go on the shelf too. So we have some hinges here and the tiniest screws ever um, are going to be placed on the back where this uh, piece is. It's like a little hinge, which I didn't know what was it, what it was for at the time, but it is a little battery um, door, basically. So you can take the battery pack out and light up the book nook kit um, easily without disturbing anything later on. Thank you. 
So after continuing a few more details, we now have a window, which is pretty cute. So we have our base pieces and our sides of the book nook and they are going to go all together now so we can create the base of our little room. This all clasps together and clips together pretty easily, a bit like a jigsaw puzzle. So moving on to the next stages. I had to make this little staircase. And now I have to make the wall that goes in front of it. This is going to create a kind of a three-dimensional look and make the um, perspective of the book nook go way back more than it actually does. You'll see this later on in the video and it's a really effective way of getting that perspective and that length into the room which is actually no bigger than a couple of books in length. So time for lighting. Now this didn't come with batteries so I had to hunt the house to try and find some. So let's just make sure that they work and they do and they give off a really lovely warm cozy vibe so we're going to be putting them into this little hole here and uh, taping them in certain directions to make sure that the back of the book nook is lit properly then the wires are going to be wired onto the top floor as this is a two-story book nook and you just use these little clips to keep it all neat and in place Onto furniture building. There's a few pieces in here. This one is a little uh, side cabinet that's going to be going on the top floor. This piece was notoriously difficult. I think it's because it's so small that putting the pieces together did crumble a little bit, but yeah, that's probably my heavy handedness. And onto the books. So we have so many books here, and they all are really detailed and have little proper prints on them of the names so you can look at all of the names and we have a ton of these book cutout pieces these are just little wooden blocks and uh, yeah pretty satisfying this was to break up and uh, it kind of reminded me of a game I used to play when I was a kid So now we have all of these books. There's got to be at least 70, 80 books here. And of course we have to cut out all of the book titles and uh, the covers of the books. So this will take a little while. I did this in an evening and just worked away on this. And all you have to do is just glue them with a bit of PVA glue and uh, wrap them around each individual uh, book block and there you have it you have your books so I just had to keep doing this for 80 more times So yep, that is a lot of books. I mean it is a bookstore after all so you're gonna have to get in some book production and we also have more detailed ones as well and the prints on this is really good they have so much detail on them I, I feel like if you you had a magnifying glass you could probably read some of these pieces and these come in long strips that you have to accordion fold and then glue the covers on and you have a more realistic book with pages and onto a few more furniture building parts we have a little miniature table that will be going at the front of the bookstore or library. I like to call it the library. I feel like it's a little bit more of a library to me. Um, so yeah, we have a little table and we also will be making um, a chair.
Now, to hold all of the books that we made, we're going to need some shelving, so I had to make some shelving as well, and put them all on the shelves. This is where your creativity can come into play, and you can start styling the bookshelves how you like. Um, I did this one just how the assembly manual told me to, but if you have little pieces that you want to add in, you can do that, or make your own custom build from this kit. That's what I think is really cool about these kits, is you can customise them to as much as or little as you want. Next stage is the posters. These are little posters that we have to roll up, and they're going to go into that little thing that I kind of crumbled and broke earlier. They're going to go into that. And we also have a bunch of posters that are going to go onto the wall. This is going to add a really nice look and make it look loads more uh, lived in and uh, interesting. So we have loads of little articles, vintage advertisements, and even uh, Titanic newspaper uh, articles from ages ago. So lots of little details to look over. So on to the next stage is the fireplace and the next wall. So we have this lovely little mirror, as you can see, and uh, yeah, just have to glue all these parts together. I love Lego, so this kit is very much like Lego and a jigsaw puzzle all wrapped into one. So it was very, very fun working on this, and I can imagine if you are not filming it that it's super, super relaxing and you can just go at it and just have fun with crafting all these little pieces. Obviously, because I had to film it, it's a little bit more stressful than it probably should be, but all these little parts are just so cute. You even have little candles and they just slide in and you can start seeing the room being created. It's really, really fun. So we're adding the banister railings to the top floor. As you can see, the detail is really mounting up quickly and our rooms are starting to look pretty detailed and packed. So the kit came with a printout rug, which is pretty good for the kit, but I thought we could add a little bit more texture and use a rug that you may remember from another video that I bought of AliExpress um, dollhouse miniatures. So we're gonna use that as a little bit more texture and detail in the room. And we have to just add in all the little furniture pieces and assembly them as the assembly book wants us to. But of course you could do it however way you want. Even adding these tiny little cutout envelopes. So someone's writing letters to someone in this house are they love letters or business letters? So more book assembly, we're just making a little bit of a shelf here. I also found while making this kit that making something that isn't mine and uh, I don't have to make much decisions on, they're already made for me, was quite freeing um, and actually makes me think about things that I want to do with my own things and frees up some of that creativity space in your brain when you're working on something like this. Um, so yeah, like all these little cutouts and things was making me think of how cool a little church miniature would be um, and doing details like that, which is something that I probably wouldn't have thought about otherwise. So onto book shelving and 
it's time to style these bookshelves. I originally styled them as how the assembly book wanted and I thought it looked just a little bit bare and not very lived in so I rejigged it a little bit and added a bit more spice to the bookshelves. So you may have noticed that this is a library book nook and there's a chair and tables but nobody in it. So I thought it would be fun to get some little characters in here. From last video you may remember these little monkeys. Um, one of them is missing an eye so he's the blind monkey and um, one of them is going to be downstairs in the chair and one of them is going to be upstairs maybe sorting out the braille options for the library. So let's pop them in and see what they look like. They're actually sized so perfectly and it makes it look so much more alive now. But we do need names for the two library monkeys so if you can comment them down below that could be really fun. So it was really just after a couple of days work just finishing up and putting the final touches and putting it all together. So I'm really excited to show you the finished uh, result of the book nook and if you are looking to make this particular one or um, any other cute bee options you can use my discount code tasman8 for 8% off your order if you are wanting to do that or to gift to somebody else. Um, so yeah, this is was a really fun project and I really loved this. Um, definitely approved by me and is super satisfying to get a craft project finished in a couple of days. This is a difficulty three star I think so is a little tricky here and there but uh, if you're crafty like me you would probably love this type of stuff. So let's get on to the final reveal. So folks, that's how the book nook turned out. I really love it. It's so cozy and a really cute detail to add amongst your book shelves. So if this has inspired you, let me know. Maybe you've already made one of these kits yourself. I'd love to know how yours turned out. If you're wanting to take the plunge and buy your own kit, be sure to use my Tasman 8 code for 8% off. And to enter the giveaway for a chance to win your very own book nook, just make a comment on this video and I will pick a lucky winner in about a week. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!